We're witch walking this week on Studio 209. <laughs> Studio 209. We're in historic Murphy's this week on Studio 209, sipping wine, shopping, and just doing things that witches like to do as part of their third annual witch walk. What is it about the witch walk that appeals to people? Why do they want to come get dressed up and stroll down Murphy's Main Street? If you look on the streets, I would say 90% are men, or women rather, we all love to dress up, you know? And we quit doing that as we get older. Why should we? I love being with my sisters. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everyone in witch costumes, we love. We love the atmosphere and everybody else kind of getting the energy of it because not a lot of places or areas do this type of thing. So it's really nice to kind of all to come together and enjoy something we all like. What brings you two witches out here today on this fine Saturday? Any excuse to get out of the broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> we came here for a girls weekend, saw on Facebook that there was a witch box, so sort of like let's grab our hats and our glasses and our fun and we came out here to hang out. We came fun. last year and we missed the witch walk, so we were determined to come back this year for it. Absolutely. So what are some of the things that you guys like about the witch walk that made you want to come out here? The, the camaraderie, this beautiful like town, we love it. And we, I love the fact that like everyone embraces us. Yeah, the this sisterhood of it all. Yeah. yeah. We have until dusk to find children and suck the lives out of them. So we must find them. <laughs> so I understand I am at a witch walk. Does that mean the two of you are witches? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what's your favorite part about being a witch? Um, about like being evil. We started with maybe 125 people the first year. Last year we had about 500 that participated. I don't really know what we've done this year, but it looks like there's well over a thousand people in town. So we're really excited. Any time with your friends is a good time, but when you can dress up and do it, it's always better. So I have to ask um, you two witches, what is your specialty as far as superpowers go? <laughs> Sucking the lives of small children. It's like a mating call. A call of the sisters. <laughs> what kind of powers does that give you, little warlock? To make somebody into a frog and make somebody into a bat. Are you going to turn me into a frog? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that episode of Studio 209. Uh, that was my best witch impersonation. Um, still in witch mode, but getting back to the old Angelina. Uh, but really, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. I know I had a blast filming it. And if you guys liked Downtown Murphy's, you want to go visit, on November 3rd, they're having another big celebration on the street. It's their Dia de los Muertos event, so be sure to check that out. Now, let's take a look at a word from our sponsors, the City of Turlock Municipal Services and Deloso Farm Pumpkin Maze. It's time to get lost in the fun at the 22nd annual Deloso Farm Farm Pumpkin Maze. Enjoy new attractions like Cider Hill serving hard cider, craft beer, wine, and pizza. Favorites like the Corn Mazes, Haunted Castle, Mystery Tour, Pumpkin Blasters, Deloso Train, and Zip Lines are still there. There's a Kids Zone, Pig Races, Go Walk, and so much more. Fun for the entire family. Over 20 unlimited attractions included with general admission and parking is free. So what are you waiting for? Come visit the Pumpkin Maze right off I-5 in Lathrop, open from September 29th through Halloween. Hey everybody, this is Tony from the city, reminding you that with summer here, Watering is limited to two days per week. If you have an even number to dress, you can water on Tuesdays or Saturdays, or if you have an odd number to dress, you can water on Wednesdays or Sundays. But no matter the day, you can't water between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Visit the city's website at www.cityofturlock.org. As usual, thank you to our sponsors. Next week, be sure to check out Studio 209 because Eddie Ruiz is back. It's Loud Eddie. He's going to be checking out Motocross in the 209, so be sure to give that episode a watch. If you like this episode, you want to check out more, head over to studio209.tv and subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 209 Magazine. So for all of us here at Studio 209, I'm Angelina, and we'll see you next week.